Hello, everybody. It's time for episode two of the Swedish myths, creatures and cryptids and monsters and legends and all that kind of stuff. So today we're talking about the Skogsuro, uh, which translates to the ruler of the forest. Skog, forest, ro is short for rodare, which means ruler. Anyway, um, I want to have a fair warning before this video actually starts. Uh, this monster is a naked lady in the forest. So most of the imagery in this video will be of that. So if you're watching this with some other people, viewer discretion is advised. So I've got all my research here on the Skogsuru. Uh, let's get into this video. Today, we are talking about a female figure that can be found in the forests of Scandinavia. She's often seen naked, but sometimes she wears clothing made of the leaves that the forest provides. She is called in Swedish Skogsro, which translates to ruler of the forest. Skog means forest and ro is short for Rodare, which means ruler. She also goes by names like the Norwegian Skogsroet, Hulder, Trollskjering, and many others. She is a type of forest nymph, and she is called the ruler of the forest, because she actually is the queen of that part of the forest. The forest and her animals are part of her kingdom. This queen of the forests is very beautiful, seductive and can be deadly. She usually takes the form of a petite woman with perfect features. She has the ability to shapeshift, however, to change into what the people that see her find most beautiful. The reason she is naked is because she's got perfect self-confidence. She trusts 100% in that she is beautiful. Therefore, she is free of clothing. You can also identify her by that she sometimes has a tail. She might have the tail of a fox, a horse, or a cow. If you see her from the back, you will either see tree bark on her back, or in other stories, her back is hollow and she's missing a spine. But she is of course very careful showing this and will always try to face you with her front. This mistress of the forest has potential to be very kind, but she can also be very mischievous. If a hiker in the forest gets lost and she takes a liking to this person, she can help them find their way back. If you are a hunter and she takes a liking to you, she might bless you with a perfect hunt forever. She will take your weapon, she will blow down the barrel and then your weapon will never miss. Of course, it will always miss if you try to shoot at her animals or even her moose that she uses to ride around on. Also, if she takes liking to you, she might guide you to where you can find mushrooms or berries in the forest. She might also give you wild animals. Be aware, however, if she ever invites you to her house Avoid her bed at all costs. And if she invites you to her garden, don't eat her fruits. Because eating her fruits or joining her in bed will trap you. You will become her eternal servant. If you lay with her, you will leave your soul as payment. So obviously she also has a bad side. 
her mischievous side. People have not returned from meeting her. Or when they do return, they return as introverts, a shell of their former selves. People become hermits since they do not have a soul anymore. They avoid social interactions with other people after meeting the Skoksro. If she takes a liking to somebody walking around in the forest, she will lure them towards her and take their souls or keep them as servants. She can drive people to suicide if she doesn't like you. She is even hated by the Norse god Odin himself. He hunts her wherever she goes. You can read up on that in Odin's Hunt. Evidence of this can be seen in the northern lights and the sounds coming from the forest. You will know that you're close to a Skogsro by the beauty of the forest. It is said that her forest is so beautiful that even the dead will rise again and come and visit it. If you ever meet her, you must address her like a queen, because that is what she is. She's the queen over her forest, the ruler over their animals. Failing to do so will surely land you on her bad side. If you ever noticed that you are being lured towards her, one strange way to avoid her is by turning your shirt inside out, and this, weirdly enough, makes you invisible to her. So it is said if you get lost in the forest, all you need to do is turn your shirt inside out. Hunters can avoid stormy nights by shooting at her, but normal bullets don't kill her. Just like werewolves, you need to use silver bullets. Skogsro loves her animals and her forest, so when you are in her kingdom, you need to treat all her plants and animals with respect. If she sees that a farmer mistreats their animals, she will gather them and take them to her kingdom. So she can be seen with dogs and other livestock that have got a new life in her forest. So if you ever mistreat your animals, there is a possibility they will go missing. And that means the Skogsro has come to gather them. If you are planning to visit the Swedish forest, I advise you to treat the forest and its animals with respect. Also, treat your own animals with respect. If you ever meet Skogsro herself, don't forget to bow and address her with your majesty. And whatever you do, do not go to bed with her. I hope you all enjoyed this episode of the Myths and Creatures from Sweden. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And see you all in the next episode. Bye! YouTube says you might enjoy this video. Go ahead and give it a try.